everyone, welcome to Vinyl Reviews, What's in the Box? We're going to try something here. Our first record for this new series is the Voyager Golden Record from Ozma Records. So uh, let's go ahead and crack into this box. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just, let, let's just unpack everything. Let's take a look. So first thing we have in here is a download card so you can have this music everywhere. Uh, what else? We have a record mat. There we go. Uh, next, we have an art print. It features the uh, same art that's on the cover of the box. The artwork is basically the instructions on how to play the record and how to assemble the images that were included with the record. This was shot up into space in 1977 with, uh, with a turntable and everything. So that's pretty cool, right? So we have that, and then we have three records, and they're all this um, goldenrod jelly rancher color. So they're all packaged separately from the album covers, which is good because the album covers are this really great blackout and you don't really want to package all of that flat and cause there to be wear around the edges or create that record circle. So uh, package this up. Uh, let's uh, go on to the next record. It's uh, very similar in design, of course. Again, another kind of goldenrod Jolly Rancher color vinyl and a blackout jacket with beautiful full color printing on the back. And uh, it looks like uh, it's direct to board with a black interior. So that's pretty nice. I, I know all of this was printed by Stoughton and uh, they do a pretty endlessly good job. So all three records have that golden uh, translucent coloring and all three of them have a front that's a blackout print with gold and a back that is um, basically a space image in color. Very nice golden art. There's the three, and because the albums were packaged separately, you're not gonna have all that wear, which would suck. It also comes with this full color book. Now the book uh, tells the story of the making of the golden record. It has a lot of images of the record itself, the, the plans, explanation for why they did what they did and how they chose to do what they did is just basically a nice uh, historical look at this uh, pretty significant item. Many of the uh, cultural images you'll find in this book are uh, items that were included with the uh, record, with instructions on how to assemble. The record itself was created to introduce alien life forms to humanity, and not just humanity, but the best of humanity. So. What you have with the Voyager Golden Record is this beautiful package representing something that's just a really beautiful idea. Uh, Carl Sagan was actually in charge of this project and he said it would be impolite not to say hi, something like that. So I agree, it would be impolite not to say hi and this is just a fantastic package. It's actually won a Grammy uh, for packaging. I'm looking forward to getting this print uh, framed. It just, it looks so great. And I'm not gonna use the turntable mat because I already have one I like, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a great box and I'm happy I got it. So that's the Voyager Golden Record. Uh, I highly recommend it and um, let me know what you think in the comments. This video is sponsored by AudioQuest. Turntables and speakers need cables and records need cleaning brushes. AudioQuest makes both and more. Since the early 80s, AudioQuest has made high quality audio products that match excellent performance with great value. I've used AudioQuest's record brush and I've had their cables in my audio system for years. And when I'm traveling, I always bring a Dragonfly digital audio converter with me on the road. To check out AudioQuest's selection of quality audio accessories and to locate a dealer near you, go to audioquest.com. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.